Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today I wanted to, well, first, I'm just gonna like elephant in the room. I did poly gel nails. I like spent three days on the internet and I was like hooked on looking at poly gel nail tutorials and I did like my first like set of poly gel extensions and gotta tell you, I really enjoy these and I feel like a boss bee being able to like, you know, they're just long. I've never had long nails like this and it's very, it's very weird. It's very weird. Um, typing, texting, very, very bananas. I guess also if anyone is bothered by like the changing lights, when it, it doesn't bug me, but I have um my overhead lights like change color so the background always looks exciting in my opinion. But um, let me know if it bugs you or anything. I don't know if people with sensitivity get bothered by that with like light sensitivity. I don't know. I don't have light sensitivity like that. So just let me know. That was a long tangent to say welcome to the video. Hi, hello. Um, today we are going to talk about older releases that I still can't think about and I still want. I still want these releases. And some of them are releases that are not super exciting, but they're still on my radar and still on my mind. Some of them are more exciting releases and it's like they deserve the spot, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna go down the list. I wrote them out just like as they kind of popped into my head. So I have like seven, I think, items that I'm still thinking about. I'm still thinking about them and they're like on my wish list. So when I need to buy or want to buy them, they're gonna be the items that I kind of look towards first. So the first one is not a super exciting release, but that is, I'm gonna like pop pictures up. So the first one is the e.l.f. Camo Concealers. Now I am honestly interested in both of them. I, I have heard good things about the coverage of those. Um, so I, I really would love to try them and see how they are. But I have, that Too Faced concealer is just such a beast that I'm, I'm sure I'm not gonna be in the market for a concealer for quite some time, as well as that like It Cosmetics one in the pot. Um, I'm sure that's gonna take forever to get through too. So I'm sure there will be other or concealers that are gonna be on the market if those ever go away. So the next release that I can't stop thinking about, and honestly, it's probably the thing that like keeps drawing me back and like beckoning me to it, like, Buy me, love me. So that is the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. And I, that palette, that color story is just so good. I just, it's so good. The I think the reason why I talked myself out of it first was because it had a lot of purple tones. Like that whole top row was all purple shades. And I was like, I'm not gonna use them. I don't use purple eyeshadow. It's just not my jam, not my thing. And now because of pan those eyeshadows, I had so many purple eyeshadows that now I like and reach for purple eyeshadows all the time. And it's like very mind blowing to me, but that palette is like burrowing its way into my heart and into my mind. And I just, I want it, I want it. I can't stop thinking about it. I did not want this when it first was like released and teased, but I think it's because Steph Lyons and It's Just Steph keep raving about the Natasha Denona gold palette. And it makes me, want that palette so much. I keep seeing everyone have it, everyone loving it. And I just, it. looking at it more and more, I like it more and more. Every time I see it, I like it a little bit more, especially some of those like duo chromey, like the, the teal blue shades. The matte one I can do without, I have that like four times over, but some of those special like metallic-y shades, they're just so pretty and I just, I want them. I want to put them on my eyeballs. So the next one is Odin's Eye, the Solomon. I don't know how to pronounce that. I was trying to like channel my inner Dylan and figure out, cause she, I think knows how to say it like perfectly, but I, not me, so sorry. But that is, um, I'm gonna have a picture of it. I think the color story is absolutely beautiful on that palette. However, I feel like I, can dupe it. Now, I don't know the formula of Odin's Eye, and that's kind of another reason why I want to test some of these things out is the formula, like Lunar Beauty, I don't know the formula. And then the Odin's Eye, I don't know the formula of. So I can't say, like, I have exactly the same things in my collection, but some, I think I can dupe the color story, which would, like, facilitate the need, but ultimately I want to try that formula. So it's like, 
two birds, one stone. But yeah, that, that palette is so gorgeous. Something about that like periwinkle hit in there is just so pretty and it draws my eye immediately. The next one is a Juvia's Place palette and I used to collect like collect them. Um, the Nomad palette has caught my eye and I mean honorable mention the tribe but I duped that so that one's kind of like I know I have it in my collection but the Nomad and I know I keep telling myself like Laura you have those greens you have those gold you have those like neutrally kind of shades you don't need that palette but it still is singing its siren song to me and I just it one day will be mine unless it gets discontinued and then I will say I would be very sad but yeah, that Juvia's Place Nomad palette, it's so gorgeous. It's like a grungy fall tone dream and it's just so beautiful. Every time I see it, I get inspired, but oh, I, I have those colors in my collection. I, I'm for sure, I know I do. <laughs> Then another one that's kind of like an oddball release is the P. Louise Pastel Bases. So I think that they were the, they were like a winter collection. They had four, it was like a pastel blue, I, I think it was a pastel blue, a pastel pink, a pastel green, and I want to say a, like a lavender, like a pastel purple. And they are so beautiful. I have the Brights collection um, by P. Louise and I really enjoy them. However, I feel like I don't wear them as much because they're so bright and I think if I, they were all pastel shades or lighter shades that could blend in and blend away a little bit more I would be more apt to use my color bases but it can just be so difficult to like put a big punchy red like streak on my eye um, especially the red ones stain my eyes but getting on a side tangent those P. Louise bases I have been eyeballing and eyeballing and not even just like the four that released in I think winter like two or three years ago the ones that she released over the summer this past year it's like a soft cobalt a pastel yellow and a pastel orange or coral and those are so gorgeous the blue one keeps again singing its song to me but i know i don't use my blue base already and i need another blue base like i need a hole in the head it's just mm. It's so pretty though. Those are so pretty, all of them. All of them are gorgeous. And then the last thing that we're gonna talk about is another palette. So palettes are my favorite thing um, in makeup. Eyeshadows in general are just like my favorite thing. It's like my favorite thing to collect, to have, to use, um, all of that. So the last one and the last item on this list is the Glam Light Ice Cream Palette. And I was so close, so close to buying that little ice cream bundle set, like the whole ice cream uh, set. It had like the lip glosses. I think she had lashes. All of it. I wanted the whole thing and I was about to just buy it and be like, treat yourself. This is my Christmas gift to myself. But we ended up with the Natasha Denona palettes instead. So it is, it's fine. Um, I've been kind of talking myself out of that Glam Light palette because one, it's a huge palette. I think it's a 35 pan palette. And I have no business adding 35 more shadows into my collection when I have a collection chock full of items that I love and need to get more use out of and two it's just the size of it I am notoriously bad for wanting oh this palette has so many shades you get such a value for it and then getting it and being like why is it so big it's so giant I can't put it anywhere Ugh. it's why Laura you're a ding dong <laughs> so I have like notoriously bad and getting an itch to depot all of my larger palettes and when that is the case it's basically like the palettes have gone to die when they're depotted at that point so i know in my heart of hearts i don't need the glam light ice cream palette but those pastels are so dreamy and beautiful and i just want them maybe one day when i get through a bunch of my shadows i will purchase the ice cream palette but until then we are going to make do with what we have and that is it. That is everything that's been on my wish list for I don't even know how long. Things that I wasn't interested in. Things that like slowly have morphed into like a, a secret love affair that I have. But yeah, let me know if there's anything, any older releases that are on your guys' radar. Because I'm sure I have one item that's like a new upcoming release that I'm like gunning to get. I want that um, Glaminatrix Ya Beauty. I think it's You Beauty palette it looks so beautiful just like the shades that she's released 
I want that palette so bad. So that might be my first palette purchase of 2021. But let me know what things you are interested in. Let me know if there's any older releases that have still caught your eye. Let me know if there's any new releases that are catching your eye that I need to also have my eye drawn towards. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.